Hey guys, Thomas and Friends 47 here, and it's been a while since my last video. Um, I do have some major updates before we get into this video. I know you guys are excited, judging by the title of this video. I know you're really pumped to see this. Um, I was to make this. So, first off, I've actually moved from my older home. I'm in a new house now, so my old train room does not exist anymore. Or will exist, but I don't own it and I don't have my trains there. Um, so all of my trains are going to be moved. They're right now they're in storage. They're going to be moved into a new train building shed that I'm making. Um, I'm going to be purchasing that soon. So I will be making another layout, and it's going to be even better than what I had at my old house. So guys, stay tuned. Keep watching for things like this and even more things to come. So first, let's talk about coaches and Trackmaster. And let's face it, they've never been too great. This was the first. Um, this is actually an old school one. So this one has these rubber bands here. And when you roll it around... It makes it sound like the engine's chuffing, which is nice. Um, it is an appropriate length uh, compared to a Trackmaster 2 Thomas. It's actually about the same length as him, which is about what it is in the show. But overall, it's kind of plain. The details aren't too great. Now, I will say, though, I do love this coach. Fast forward to Trackmaster 2, and um, I apologize because I only have the blue versions of Annie and Clarabella and Trackmaster 2. Um, I have the brown ones, but I use them for a project, so I cut off one of the wheels here, and I was trying to put two coaches together to make an extended coach, but it, it just didn't turn out well. But anyway, these are the Trackmaster 2 Annie and Clarabella, and, uh, well, mm, yeah, they look like box fans, basically, and that's pretty much what the print is. Um, you can tell up here where uh, Clarabelle has this lip, the coach up here, the roof. Well, it's the same thing for Annie. They didn't reverse it. And I'm like, it, it's so cheap. And look at the difference between, you know, Thomas and one of these coaches. Like, really? And then look at this, too. Like, even the height difference is just outrageous. Um, and the difference, too, between these two. It, it's just terrible. It's all the way around terrible. And so I'm like, you know, I don't have to to deal with this. I, I, I know I'm a Trackmaster fan, but I, I don't have to do this. So, what do I do as a Trackmaster fan? Well, Bachman has some pretty swell models. You know, I can't lie, they're pretty good. And I had this idea to do some customization. And I'm going to show you that customization right now. This is a Bachman, HO Skill Bachman Annie and Clarabelle converted to Trackmaster. They run, they take the curves. Um, they can't take the smaller curves because the radius isn't that good. But yeah, I mean, look at this. Look how close that is. It is a little bit shorter, and their width isn't great. The width could be better on the coaches. But, I mean, compared to the alternative of this or this, I like it. I mean, they're just beautiful models. And I'm going to be showing you, and you'll notice, too, that the wheels do splay a little bit, but... I think that's the best I could do with these axle boxes. Um, they also, they are using official Trackmaster 2 coupling links, so there's no modifications really there. But yeah, let me show you the underside of one of these now. These are incredibly hard to rail back on the track, so we're going to take off Annie here. And um, the couplings where these would be are replaced with these. So the HO scale couplings are replaced with these hook uh, hook and eye couplers from uh, Trackmaster 2. And on the undercarriage, you can see what I've done here. So all I've done is took toothpicks. I want to thank uh, Kyle Matthews, too. He was trying to help me with the with the axles. I finally tried toothpicks. He some, um, suggested uh, wooden dowels. This is about as close as I could get to that. And so they actually go into the connector of where the HO scale wheel would sit. And then they have this under here propping it up. So the axle that they're on does not move and the wheels are free to move. I also had to grind down this lip right there. 
I had to grind that off of here so that way it would fit the Trackmaster gauge because these are too thin otherwise. Um, but it actually wasn't too hard. You know, you can see here if you want to try to attempt this. I will warn you, it was a challenge. I, I will say that. It was a challenge. It wasn't too bad. I've had worse, but it, it wasn't as easy as I thought it'd be either. You can also see I use these smaller scale wheels. One, because uh, you couldn't really use any other larger wheels. And two, it just looks really, really good. And I love the look of this. I mean, it just looks so good, especially for Trackmaster. I love it. And you can see a comparison, too, between Annie here and Thomas. The size difference is not too bad. Um, the only issue is, like, if you look from the top, the width of the coach, the buffers don't line up. But then again, they don't really line up either because Thomas's buffer beam is too low on the front. So I can't complain. Um, but overall, I think it looks pretty good. Alright guys, this is Thomas and Friends 47 here. I hope you've enjoyed a look at the Bachman Annie and Clarabelle Custom 2 Trackmaster. Um, I want you to know that if you do attempt this, it's hard, but it is rewarding. I do want to state, however, before you do any kind of customization, always ask your parents' permission first. Um, you know, even if even if you bought your own trains, if you live at home with an adult, always ask them before customizing your trains, because you um, you know there was a possibility that I could have ruined these two models, and these things are expensive. Um, so yeah. Anyway, this is Thomas and Friends 47 signing off. I hope you've enjoyed this look, and please stay tuned because there's a lot more coming. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you real soon.